Okay, so we recently got an update on Sonic Forces. Now this actually happened as I was uploading my last video, so it wasn't reflected in what I was saying, but 2D sections in the modern stages has been confirmed to be returning in Sonic Forces. Now Game Informer are the source here and I think they've actually been able to play the game. So they've tested out the stage that we saw a small amount of footage of. Now obviously in the footage that we saw, we didn't see any 2D sections but that's not enough for it to be conclusive that there's no 2D sections. So now that Game Informer have played it and they've made this article, they basically said Later in the stage, Sonic lands on a platform and the camera shifts to a side perspective to deliver the modern gameplay with a side scrolling twist that we've seen in prior games. So basically like the 2D sections we saw from Generations, Colors, Unleashed etc. And if you saw the last video, you know that I wasn't too fond of that. Now here's a little history lesson. Up until about 1998, Sonic was fully 2D, I mean, with the exception of maybe Sonic CD, Special Stages, Blue Sphere, whatever. Come 98, we're hit with Sonic Adventure, a fully 3D game. After that, Sonic Adventure 2, another fully 3D game. Heroes, another fully 3D game. Shadow the Hedgehog, another fully 3D game. 06, another fully 3D game. 06 doesn't do too well. They get a bit scared. They start listening to what those reviewers have been saying, which is Sonic has never been as good in 3D as he was in 2D. And it starts to get to them. Ask yourself, why do games like Unleashed, Colors, Lost World and Generations have 2D sections in their 3D stages? Ask yourself, why does Sonic 4 even exist? For one simple reason, to try and satisfy the classic Sonic fans. Ever since the classic era ended and the modern era begun, Sonic Team really didn't know how to satisfy classic fans. That is until Sonic Mania, of course. Classic Sonic and Generations was probably the closest they got before Mania, but even hardcore classic Sonic fans still preferred the original classics over classic Sonic and Generations. But now that we've seen footage of Mania, people are starting to say Mania might be the best classic Sonic game. And it's easy to see why, because it's an improvement of the classic gameplay. It's not just a blind copy. At least we're talking gameplay wise, like I'm not going to get into the whole reimagined stages debate, that's a whole separate debate. But in terms of the gameplay, everyone who's played it is saying that it's got improved physics and of course we know that it's got the drop dash, the stages look bigger, the animations look smoother, but they still maintained most of the core cool physics that the classic fans love while just slightly changing it to make it feel a bit looser. And you would think that a game like Sonic Mania would end this need for modern Sonic games to have so much 2D in them, but it only seems to have made Sonic Team desire this more. But why do they want this more now? It's gotten to the point where it's redundant. I mean, it was mm, tolerable before because they hadn't found the perfect solution for classic Sonic fans. But now that we have Mania, it's gotten to the point where I have to ask myself, what is the 2D doing in the modern stages when we have a fully 2D game on the way? When we have a fully 2D gameplay style in the same game? Now people are going to get upset that I'm criticising something because people always get defensive because I know there's a lot of blind haters when it comes to Sonic games but let's make something clear. Redundant isn't the same as bad. People need to understand that showing concern for something isn't the same as blindly hating something. Generations is still in my top 10 Sonic games and Unleashed is in my top 5. Although, because of the Werehog in Unleashed, it's probably over 80% 3D, maybe even over 90% 3D to be fair, so it's not as significant as Generations or Colors, so the whole 2D thing. But let's put some numbers into this, let's get mathematical. How much 2D are we actually getting this year? Now we know there's a third gameplay style for Sonic Forces that we haven't seen any gameplay on, so we're gonna have to make some assumptions for these calculations. So if we assume that Sonic Mania is around half the length of Sonic Forces, and let's also assume that the third playable character in Sonic Forces is fully 3D for the purpose of this argument. Of course, Classic Sonic will be fully 2D and Modern Sonic will be a mix of 3D and 2D like generations. That means in the year 2017, not the game Project 2017, but the year itself, Sonic will be two thirds 2D. So 66% of the gameplay we'll see this year will be 2D. And that's if the third playstyle is fully 3D. Let that sink in. If the third playstyle also has 2D sections in it, like modern Sonic in generations or colors, then that means that in the year 2017, Sonic will be 77% 2D. Over three quarters of the gameplay we'll see this year in total will be 2D. That's less than one quarter 3D. And people are getting upset at me for 
bringing this up like have we really gotten to the point where asking for a 3d game in 2017 is considered hate like really now i'm not saying the 2d is poorly designed i've had fun with 2d sections before for example i loved desert ruin zone 1 and sonic lost world one of my favorite stages in sonic generations is modern planet wisp but let's talk about classic sonic in the modern games if we were to compare classic sonic and sonic generations to the actual classics or to sonic mania they don't match up i tweeted something before i said what makes classic sonic in project 2017 worse is knowing that it will never be as good as mania they're just shooting themselves in the foot like who can honestly with a straight face tell me that prem classic sonic and sonic forces will be better than mania who can tell me that right now? Izuka already said with regards to generations that it's near impossible to fully recreate the classic physics in their 3D engine. And lo and behold, Mania is running on a 2D engine that was made of classic Sonic in mind. The 3D engine was made of 3D gameplay in mind. They had to create an engine that was dedicated to replicating the classics, built just for classic Sonic and his physics. Christian Whitehead has studied the classics, made his own engine that he used to remake the classics on mobile devices from scratch. How is that supposed to compare to Generations or Sonic Forces Classic Sonic? The only logical explanation for Classic Sonic being in Sonic Forces is that the game, you know, being a bigger game and all, has been in development way longer than Mania. Before the whole idea of Christian Whitehead even making a separate 2D game for the Classic fans even happened, they were probably already decided to put Classic Sonic in this game, they were probably already working on the game and that's understandable at that point because there was no mania they were just making a new game and they wanted to satisfy the classic fans in some way that makes sense and who knows maybe there was some kind of panic after christian whitehead showed izuka how amazing mania looked and felt because they knew they couldn't replicate it in the 3d game and for the people saying that well modern sonic's 2d is different to classic sonic's 2d they're not the same thing modern sonic's 2d is kind of like the rush games well once again the 2d in sonic rush worked better than the 2d in the modern sonic games that's why the Rush Trilogy has consistently higher ratings by the community as well as the reviewers compared to games like Lost World, Generations and Unleashed. The Rush games knew what they were doing, which was 2D boost gameplay, and they did it to near perfection. And yes, it goes both ways. When the Rush games had 3D sections, they always felt like awkward chores that I had to go through to get back to the fun 2D. Nonetheless though, the Rush games are amazing. And those games were made by Dimps. Dimps are still available. Nothing is stopping them from making another Rush game should Sega really want to have that gameplay back. You can't try and shoehorn everything into one playstyle. There's a reason why certain playstyles are separate. Sometimes things don't belong in a certain place. That doesn't make them bad. It's like when people said the Werehog wasn't bad, it just didn't fit in a Sonic game. And as much as I love the Werehog, I understand that argument. Because it doesn't really fit in a speed-based, platforming-based game. If the Werehog had more platforming, then fine, but it was a lot more combat-heavy. And as someone who plays combat-heavy, games for example sleeping dogs i personally had no problem with it but i do see their point of view like the only way i feel like i can describe this better is to use this scenario imagine if sonic mania was announced to be 60 percent 3d and it looked and played like sonic cd special stages how do you imagine the original classic sonic fans would feel the ones who were saying mania was the comeback they've wanted for years how do you think those fans would feel if they just told you 60% of the game was going to be 3D with 2D graphics? You wanted Mania to be that game that gets the classic Sonic formula right since Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and then they hit you with something like that? That's how fans of the early, fully 3D games feel when Sonic Team no longer has the confidence to make a fully 3D game in 2017. To me, 3D just feels more vast and open. And to be frank, it is. Adding 2D sections feels like a chain that breaks that sense of open world feeling that I want in a Sonic game. I no longer feel like I'm in this big open space to explore. I feel like I'm trapped or restricted. Not enough to hate the sections entirely, but enough for them to make me appreciate the adventure era games even more. And I have criticized the speed stages in SA2 for being too linear before, but even with that linearity, stages like City Escape in SA2 still feel more open than City Escape in Generations, even though there were actually more paths to take in Generation City Escape, but the simple inclusion of a 2D section breaks that feeling of openness. And I'm not here to like chastise Sonic Team or anything. They can only listen to what people are saying. And there are a lot of people who say things like, Sonic was never as good in 3D as he was in 2D and it has led to Sonic Team starting to believe it. But at the same time, Sonic Team have proven time and time again with hits such as Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Heroes, 
that you don't need 2D in a 3D game to make it good. And even 06, yes, you can hate on the bugs, you can hate on the glitches, you can hate on the load times. We're not getting into the whole 06 debate right now, but don't try and tell me that the stages didn't feel vast, they didn't feel big, they didn't feel wide open. Kingdom Valley felt huge, and I loved that. Even stages like Modern Seaside Hill and Modern Crisis City prove that you can have wide open platforming in 3D even with the boost formula. And it's not that the level design in the 2D sections is bad, it's just that it could be better if they converted it to a 3D section. There's no reason why it has to be restricted that way. And even if they wanted some kind of 2D, think of Skydeck in Sonic Adventure, when Sonic is dodging those cannons with the green bullets. But the camera pans into a 2D-ish sort of way, but you still have full 3D control, you still have the ability to leave that 2D-ish plane, should you desire to, you could jump off the edge. Think Handcastle in Sonic Heroes. There's a point where you're kind of going up the castle in a circle, kind of like a spiral staircase or something. But once again, you had full 3D control, you had full camera control, and you could leave that section should you desire to. Sure, the camera was still panned in a way where you were kind of moving to the right, but I wasn't restricted. I'm sure Sonic Forces will still be a good and fun game, but this is exactly the reason why I prefer the earlier 3D titles to the Boost Era 3D games. To be honest, this is a concern that I have not only with Sonic Forces, is. but the future of modern sonic games to come that may use this formula for me everything is riding on that third character in his gameplay style will the new character be fully 3d fully 2d or a mix of both like modern sonic i've already accepted in my mind that no sonic game that has come out that will ever come out will surpass my current top four sonic games so i know there's going to be things in these games that i'm not going to like as much i'm always going to have gripes with the game even games that i love i have gripes with doesn't mean i hate the game i'll still enjoy sonic forces i'll still be happy to play it i just know in the back of my mind that it's not going to be the exact game that i want and that's okay or I think I know that because at the end of the day, we haven't seen the third playstyle at all. If the third playstyle is fully 3D, then I guess you could say the game would have around, say, a 50-50 split of 3D, 2D. Now, that's still not ideal considering that we have Mania for the 2D and it still feels like it's redundant, but it's still better than the 65%, 35% split of 2D to 3D in Generations. But that's all I have to say, man. Let me know what you guys think about 2D sections returning for Sonic Forces and also for modern Sonic games in general. And also let me know how you feel about Classic Sonic being in Sonic Forces even though he has his own game this year. But yeah man, do Remy out.